The sixth and final learning objective for this session are some additional considerations in capital budgeting, uh, some managerial options. What options do we have when it comes to taking on a project? For, for example, that um, Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes that we always keep talking about. Should we take it or should we not take it? It shows a positive MPV. Uh, are we unsure? Can we wait? Or must we always take a project or reject a project? Example, Euro Disney, when it first opened, um, there was lots of concern on the parts of Disney executives. Would it sell in Paris? Uh, would it fly as fast as our Disney properties in the United States? Um, so is it a static project or is it a dynamic project? Static project is one whose features cannot be changed um, and does not take into account managerial options. So we do, we find if we look into it, we do have options. We can expand so we can take on the project. Uh, and repeat it to get a larger MPV. We can abandon the project, certainly, which should have been done in the case of Cottonelle Fresh Roll Wipes. Despite all the monies spent, uh, we should have looked a little bit uh, more deeply into it and asked a lot more questions to see if it really, really would sell. And we can wait. The other option is we can wait on this for a while. We don't have to uh, necessarily take it right away. Uh, there are other strategic options. Um, sometimes difficult to measure their value. Capital rationing is a case where uh, we get a certain amount of money, uh, soft rationing and hard rationing, but it's not enough to generate a successful MPV project. Uh, hard rationing is uh, where we just get a very, very small amount uh, each year. Soft rationing situation when units are allocated a certain amount each year, um, you're going to get your $2 million each year. Uh, whether you need it or not. And uh, one thing you can do if you're in great need of capital, you can try to get a larger allocation. Try to generate the largest MPV within the existing budget. Those are two of your options. Hard rationing is a case where you cannot raise financing under any circumstances. A uh, company will not take on any projects. You're in financial distress if you're in a hard rationing case. And um, so be careful in these cases. If you don't get enough capital, again, you may have to step up and, and ask for more. And it may just not be there. It's very, very uh, tough in some economic times, and the uh, CEO will give you as much as possible. So in summary, we've gone over six key um, learning objectives here regarding MPV and evaluating MPV projects. Uh, First of all, how do we know when we have a positive MPV? How do we evaluate them? What kind of what-if analyses can we do to make sure that we really have a positive MPV project? Uh, break-even analysis in three forms. We looked at um, accounting break-even, cash break-even, and financial break-even, and some terminology that goes with them, some new terminology that uh, to develop them in learning objective number four. Uh, operating leverage, what is the degree of operating leverage? High reliance on fixed cost and the lever that occurs when our sales go up 10%, DOL might generate a very high boost to OCF. And finally, additional considerations in capital budgeting in terms of rationing and so on. Hopefully you've enjoyed this session on evaluating MPV projects.